back and I have to have a long time ago with this little dress. Let's see how this looks. I was just thinking, I I always have uh, candles growing, and then I realized, you know, since I've been on my own. Alright guys, so I thought I would pop in, uh, I have something to share with you, and I just thought I'd do it while it's really kind of fresh, and uh, yeah, so um, I hope you're good, doing well, and stay tuned, I shall be right back. My tea, and please note that this that I'm sharing is okay. So, I'm sharing this because it was such an important, amazing thing that that uh, for me. And so, the word that I'm getting now through this, because this is this is a testimony, guys. And you must understand that this is not about bragging or anything like that. This is truly about 
uplifting and giving somebody the faith and strength and hope, of course. So the word that I'm getting, and this is what ha this is the 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 great message. Okay, so when this happened, it was actually a huge, huge thing. It may seem kind of small, but it was really quite extraordinary. But um, then, before I came on here to share this, because this has been a little while back, not too long ago, but a little bit. But before I came on to share this, the, the message that I was getting was, he is strategic. Very, very strategic. <laughs> so, okay. Let's have a tea. So, God will use anything. He will make a testimony, and He will He will uh, receive glory from us through us. He will receive glory, and we will have a testimony out of the most unexpected, minute, miraculous little things. And I mean to the point where it's quite, quite a, actually a huge, huge, it's like there's no mistaking. <laughs> it's like, this thing is really for real. So, so this is kind of the story, okay? So... This happened a little while back, as I said, and I had this on my mind because I was, okay, I was trying to find something that I had had, like, kind of, like, put away. It was, like, kind of packed, put away, and um, I looked, I'd been kind of looking, but I couldn't find it, and so I knew the only other place that I thought it would be, and it was, like, back, way back in the closet where I had a box of some things. Well, actually, I like a crate of some things and a suitcase. Okay. And I went through the stuff. I went through it and could not find what I was looking for. Now, later I come to realize that that wasn't meant because what I actually did find is what I've got on right now. It's this, this really cute little jacket. <laughs> And it was the only thing in the suitcase because apparently I'd already gotten everything out of the suitcase. But I had this in there with some just some little little things that weren't clothing items. But I went ahead and took this out and I wore it. <laughs> I wore this the day, the day that this thing took place. Okay, so when I mean to say strategic, I mean down to the most detailed thing. I mean he sits up high and he looks down low and he doesn't miss anything. <laughs> so this jacket that I've got on now, the one that I found, this thing is like really old. It's like I probably had this almost, I don't know, almost I'd say 18 years, you know, and I always considered it vintage actually. You can see it's really got this unique it looks kind of like a wool and it's got you can see it's got the okay so it's kind of a blackish gray and it's got these little white you can see it's kind of like a just the way it's made okay and I've always loved it and the little puff sleeves and everything and it just you know it was perfect it was like a spring day that day and I had found it and I didn't think anything of it now I actually had been um, through prayer and everything and just things, you know, every day of my life, I had been like thinking, you know, some of the times you just feel like, you know, you know that the miracles are for real and they're from God, but there's also once in a while you'll, something will slip up and you'll think, well, is this really? I mean, for me, most of the time, no. For me, most of the time, I absolutely know. And it's only, you know, through certain things that I might think, well, you know, is this luck, chance, or whatever? So, 
I had kind of been, that had been somewhere toiling in the back of my head, kind of, about, uh, the, you know, one of my little miracles that was also a huge miracle, but, so, I kept thinking that, you know, I was going to get clarification, and, you know, that, that was always, that's always in my mind, you know, things like that, because that's just the, the way I think, you know, and it's like I'm always on the, I'm always openly aware and, you know, on Spark to find that, be open and receptive to find that little miracle, you know. And so I did kind of have that mindset, but I wasn't quite expecting it at all to play out the way it did in such a unbelievable way. <laughs> so he, God actually did um, prove to me on point that, yes, now I say strategic because that is exactly what it was. But at the time, it's like on the spot, pure testimony, openly, not, not just to me and myself, but openly out actually, which it makes this even more amazing. But, um, so yeah, so I had been, so we, I'd gone, got out and we were, I was actually going, it was a beautiful afternoon and, um, I had stopped in, stopped in at this place where, you know, they had things, you know, and they sold uh, items like a thrift place and stuff like that. And there were like these boxes of things set out, you know, for people to go through. And everything in the box was like, I think it was like 25 cents. And these were not little boxes. These were pretty big boxes. And there was a whole... I cannot tell you how long these, how many of these things there were. There was a whole mess of these, these boxes. And um, there were two other people there. And we were just, you know, kind of just chatting and talking a little bit, you know. And I was going through the boxes. And now when this happened, I did not even, it wasn't like, I mean, I, Remember, I had not been going through the, the that box at all. This box where this thing happened, that where this testimony happens. But uh, as soon as I did, I reached into the box. Now I reached into the box because, like I said, it was a big box, and I reached kind of down deep. So I wasn't looking. There was no looking involved. I just actually reached in the box and pulled, grabbed these, and saw this, saw this, and I pulled these out, and I thought, wow, those are the exact, I don't know if you can see, but they are the exact same fabric, same material, as this. Now remember, before I had left, I had been searching for something and what I was searching for, I could not find. But I did find this and it was the only thing in the little suitcase. Well, the big suitcase. I had things stored in there. So then, as if that wasn't enough, I thought, now, are they my size? So, I got, I could see, I can't see right now without these, but I had my glasses and I looked and they say a size, let's see, what did it say? It said, um, <laughs> petite six, petite six. That means that these will fit me. <laughs> And I tried them on. And yes, they are a little loose, but not to the point where they're at all too big. And I like, I love the way they fit. 
but I tried them on after I got back home with this and they were so perfect. It was like so amazing. And I was like, okay, that, what are the odds? I mean, that's exactly what one of the people said when they saw that, when I, because we've been talking, you know, and they said, well, what are the odds of that? And I'm like, exactly, well, you know, I mean, so I was all excited and hyped up because I felt like I, I actually got the direct, you know, confirmation and everything that everything that I had experienced prior to this thing with the thrifting thing uh, in my little thrifting times was actually, yes, it was, it was miraculously a uh, testimonial type little miracles from the most high. And this here just proved it all the more because you see before when I would find things, they might be hanging up, you know, but this was in the bottom of a box that I actually myself stuck my hand down into. No human could have placed this there for me to find or anything like that. This was strictly a miraculous thing, you know. That, and the whole thing that I had even put this on, found this and decided to wear it is even more amazing. But so, like I said, I reached deep, deep down into there and pulled these out. And as soon as I, I could just see it, you know, I could just see it as I was pulling it out, you know. And then I realized, well, I knew, you know, I couldn't believe it. And they were my size. But yes, I found the pants that went with this. Now, whether they actually do or not, you know, doesn't matter. This is the fact that they are the perfect, the perfect size and the exact same material. Yes, this chair is so squeaky. I'm sorry about that. But I just thought that was so totally unbelievable. And for me, that was like a huge testimony. Because I have been, like I said, thinking I I I need that that testimony at this time, a little extra from you, God, you know, a little extra testimony from you to actually clarify. I mean, He just will will never let you down, you know. And as I said, He goes about it so strategically, and yeah, I was so totally amazed about that. So I say this, I tell, I share this with you, okay, because so th like I said, this is nothing about the bragging or anything. It is just the fact that it goes to show you that you can never, okay, if you have you shall receive and I mean it doesn't matter it's going to not to be something that you are going to even expect but he's already working that stuff out he's already working on that <laughs> and as you can see here you can see these are the pants and this is the jacket and this is just a, too amazing you cannot make this stuff up this is just I mean, this comes from the Most High. This comes from God Himself. And so, as I said, you know, it's a testament of how if you um, pray and depend and ask, you shall receive. And it becomes evident then. It starts to become super duper evident to anybody that is close to you because as i said <laughs> these things this thing that happened was witnessed by some other few other people and they were like you know what are the odds of that and i'm like you know i just was so amazed myself and so it's just a testament, a, a testimony how great 
And how strategic. How strategic. Our God is. Really, it's just so strategic. Down to the. To whatever way he wants to. Give you that. Um, confirmation. He, it, it's very strategic. Very detailed. And he will get that. He will, he, he will, <laughs> he will get that, um, he will get that glory and you will get that testimony. And it's just, a, I don't know, it's nothing like it. I have to say is it's nothing, nothing quite like it at all. I mean, it's just the greatest feeling in the world, but I didn't share it too. I'm not, please understand, this is never about the bragging thing because there's, there's more, you know, there's a lot of things that I don't share, guys, because I just, I just don't, I'm not thinking that's, you know, I share with you think little the things that I think that are enough, you know, enough to share with you to where you will understand and get maybe inspired and encouraged yourself. But even with this here little testimony, there was more to it. There was, there was something even more so amazing about it. But I'm not going to go into all that part of it. But it was just like the cherry on the cake type thing. <laughs> it's like I want to, I want to share it, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait on that. But yeah. So I just thought I'd drop in with that little word for you and for me, because this is not only about encouragement and um, inspiring. This is uh, also a documentation. This is me to document these things for me as well. Because they, these things are just, you know, they deserve that. And I like to have that sort of um, reference, you know, that sort of documentation myself. So that's why on some of these things I do come on to share with you that. So yeah, I hope that you're doing well. I hope that you found that inspiring. And the message that came in loud and clear was, he is strategic. So yeah, keep that in mind and always, always have that miraculous hope and faith that he, he's going to show, he's going to show up for you. He's going to show up and out. And he is, it is strategic. He is strategic. So I hope that you do well. I hope that you enjoy this little uh, inspiration. And yeah, I am just so happy and amazed about it. And I shall see you soon. So take care, guys. Peace. My squeaky chair and much love. And I shall be back. We'll be back with some other things. Got my water. I've already had broke my bath. And yeah. So this is just my water's almost gone here. And some chai. This time I am drinking chai. It's not the peppermint, so let's have a little caffeine, I think. But it's my chai tea and it's very delicious. It's warm and we have been experiencing a lot of springy weather, spring type weather, so yeah. But it's always good to have a nice warm cup, so see you soon. Thank you. Just is in season. So good. <laughs> Eat all these. To break my bath. I wanted to make a white and so I just got done making this cute little white Victorian
leave it kind of simple like this. I haven't made one of these in so many years. <laughs> Today I had a juice and it had a um, it had oranges, it had a jalapeno, and it had my cabbage and my spring water. And that was my start. And that started like a, probably about 1 1 30. Yeah, I broke my fast early today because I needed extra strength. So some of you that know what you know that you know <laughs> there are times that we when we expand energy we have to go back into replenish and being being aware of what we really need is key number one thing so I had that already because usually I don't break my fast till at least about three the time after between 2 30 and 2. But I did take it early and I had the uh, juice that I just mentioned and then I made the most amazing smoothie and it was um, bananas, frozen bananas, it was the almond milk, it was a little bit of the dark chocolate like the cacao powder and um, I used a little maple extract in that. And what else? This seems like there was something else. It was it was really thick. It was really creamy. And it was like really sweet. And it was like I made it like ice cream. Oh! Now I remember I added cashews. I had a little pack of cashews. And I added that in there. So yeah. I, I got me some healthy fat mixed in, uh, and I waited a little while. I, I waited like maybe 30 to 40 minutes before I had the smoothie. See, that's how I do it. I space it out, guys. That's a great tip. But anyway, I am getting ready now to, okay, as you can see, I have got my, I have got some like comfy, sorry, like I got this like out of the box, out of a box. Quarter, I think. <laughs> brand new, brand new little t-shirt. I got these a long time ago from these cute little leggings. But anyway, I I plan to do. Okay, so I plan to do some uh, exercise, a little exercise. I don't like to exercise heavily. It just doesn't suit me well. Walking is my uh, choice of exercise, but I do do some exercise. amount of exercise for me and I find that I have kept my weight in check by not over exercising because to me over exercising can just increase my appetite but anyway and she can okay so I'm going to show you what I'm into rice so my rice is done it's I make a big pot of rice I use that in meal preps with meal prepping 
and yeah I have some I'm going to make a okay so yeah I'm just going to kind of run through and tell you what I'm going to make because I can't it would just be too long to do it all but I'm going to make a heat one uh, I'm going to use okay so these aren't the best choice but I rinsed these beans I, rin I rinsed the black beans usually I get like the no salt and all that and I do still have some of those, but I've got onion here, I've got this orange pepper, and I've got jalapeno. Oh, oh, that was over in my juice this morning. Not this morning, this afternoon. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. And then uh, I have these artichoke parts. And I love them and all kinds of things. So I'm going to open them up and I'm going to get them in a container for storage. And then I'm going to use them, a little bit of that into the meatloaf. And then the secret with the meatloaf also is with, uh, the secret with the meatloaf also is to add uh, a little bit of healthy type bread. You know, you can use oatmeal. That's great. Uh, but if you have um, like a, seeded bread or a nut bread or any kind of natural bread uh, you just tear off a little bit of that that really gives it that taste of the meatloaf and then I add like tomato, tomato sauce with all the seasonings in there and I bake that in my little tiny oven <laughs> because I actually don't even have an oven uh, the oven does not work. The, 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 this here stove did come with the Everything else is new appliances, but we kept the stove. And finally, this, the, the oven did go out. But, you know, I'm used to that because before, I only had like two burners on that other stove. And before, before the big, uh, uh, what do you want to call it? The big ship. Uh, we had just bought a new stove, dryer, and refrigerator. But those stayed. Those stayed back. So we had to buy another refrigerator and, uh, well, other things as well. But I kept this stove. And, you know, so I'm using the little, cutest little tiny, it's like little easy bake. <laughs> Oven, which works fine. You just have to have little bitty uh, pans. So that's what I'm working on right now. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to food prep. Uh, I feel pretty good after having had the the juice and the smoothie. And uh, now I'm having my matcha. And let me show you, because I had mentioned that I was going to share that with you. So this is my saving grace. This is my so that I can see what I'm actually sharing here, guys, because this stuff to me is amazing. And I actually have gotten this, I've had this a long time, it came with my vegan touch box, and it's called Ceremonial Matcha. Anyway, it's amazing, it's organic. And like I said, this with a little piece of the dark chocolate, now, I have stocked up a little bit. I've got these two. Now, I just got this because it was inexpensive and it was a uh, special dark. It will do the trick, as well as this dark chocolate. And we just, I just take a little bit. But it's not the powerhouse that this is. And I have already gotten into this, so let me show you. This is the medicine. This is the 85% uh, cacao. So it's like just a little, you know, a little piece of that. So this should get me through the rest of the winter, hopefully into spring. So yeah, I'm going to make those things uh, a healthy nut bread, 
uh, I've got some cashews, I've got some um, almonds, I've got the oatmeal, I've got some bananas. Bananas, guys. I've got some more bananas, and I have got a bunch of bananas frozen as well. So I'm just kind of playing around here and uh, food prepping to make some things because that is a fun way for me to uh, stay stay out on top of my eating. So yeah, I do do a lot of healthy fresh fruits and vegetables and uh, lots of fruit, lots of veggies, lots of juices, lots of smoothies, you know that, you see that. But I also incorporate real food. Well, it's vegan, of course, and it's, you know, usually made with beans and rice. Uh, my pastas, I love this uh, gluten-free chickpea pasta and stuff like that. But anyway, so that's, that's, that's what I'm into now. And then I'm going to take a break while some of it's cooking and probably do a little workout. Uh, yeah. And that is what I am doing on this glorious, beautiful, rainy, rainy day. As you can see, I am not made up. I did put a little wig on. I love this little vintage wig. And actually, I need to add some oil, guys. Uh, I'm going to, you know, I just got this. I have with some oils uh, stocked up on some oils. I'm big on uh, the uh, olive oil, organic, uh, always preferably uh, extra virgin. Uh, but there are times that I actually don't get that because I just have to stay stocked up because this is my this is my moisturizer this is for my body not only do I use this in some of the food I use this on my skin guys and it's honestly all I need and I just rub it in <laughs> and it just is amazing I mean creams and stuff. I use simple and not as natural as I can get. And yeah, it just is amazing to me. It feels so good. It just rubbing all right, getting your face really clean and I steam a lot. I use, I, this might sound kind of yucky to some but whenever I'm cooking pasta or rice or something like that and I get the water going or even when I make a kettle, I got hot water in here now because I don't drink tap water. I boil my water. That water steaming, I would stick my head over it <laughs> for a bit and just steam my face. Get my face all nice and steamed up, you know. And it always, it always just opens and makes me feel so like almost uh, like, I would say almost like 90% better. It's amazing. Is there anything else I can share? Um, let me show you another thing I bought. It was super light medicine that I thought that I will be using today. Because, uh, this is amazing. This is medicine. I have been back into the garlic. And this has so far kept me well. It's a virus fighter. It has so many amazing benefits as the garlic. And it tastes good. But I learned my lesson a long time ago. You do not just take a cold and put it in your mouth. I blend it up and I mix it up with other, some other things. And I actually make a juice with this. It was blended up. And it, it is actually very delicious, especially if you use lemon, a little jalapeno, um, some sort of greens, and some of this, and uh, even some fruit, some cranberries or some strawberries. Uh, just a little bit of something like that. Lemon and lime are really great. And I make a juice, and I call it a tonic. And it is a medicine is what it is. But anyway, this goes good with the meatloaf, so I will be using this. I mean, so the meatloaf will be absolutely amazing because I've got the good stuff to go in it, you know. And I've got like two more of these peppers. 
and this was a huge onion, so I needed to keep on losing that. I got this. So, yeah. Anyway, I thought I would pop in. That is today's little vlog, guys, and I hope for you to stay uh, inspired and be encouraged and uh, take time out when you need it, you know, when you feel like you're a little bit depleted to take that time to uh, to fill yourself back up with the proper things with body, mind, spirit, everything that we think and everything like that. And yeah, so sending out positive vibes, guys. Much love and I hope you're doing well and uh, staying cozy. And yeah, it's been like spring and it's just like spring even now. I mean, it's been a lot of rain and I just love the rain, guys. I mean, there are times that, you know, I wish it was just more like dry and sunny, but then there's certain times it's just like, to me, it's like God, you know, this is God rain here. <laughs> This is, this is the God rain coming down, and so I embrace it, you know, but I just want you to know that, you know, you are amazing and beautiful, and you can, you can have the life you want. It's going to take some struggle, and it's going to take, it's going to take some work, but the key, the main key is you've got to really, really want it. You've got to want to be able to change. You've got to want that change. But I will, I, I can be a testimony to you right here that if, if that's in your heart to do and you go, and you go to see God the Most High, it will absolutely take place in your life. And there's not anything He can't do for us. So I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm out, I'm, I'm, I'm going to finish this today. This is what I'm going to be doing. And I will be back again. I will pop in with another little uh, segment on my, uh, this vlog. And I hope you're doing amazing. See you guys. Take care. Much love. Peace. Always choose the peace. No matter what's going on around you guys, always choose the peace. Because let me tell you, we are living in a world that is not based on peace. It's not based, I mean, that's why, you know, I always say I'm, I'm in this world, I'm not of this world. So there's a whole nother standard, there's a whole nother uh, thought process in life lesson and journey that comes along with all that but it is so possible to live the full life you want when you have your christ our savior in us and surrounding us so yeah. that's honestly what works for me and it always has even back in the day before i've always had Christ, you know, I've always had that, that essence of that, but there was a time that I got a little bit sucked into new age things, and that was really a testimony too, because that was like, Christ had been working and doing all the miracles, and when I got into that, and you read all the, you see all these miracles about manifestations and this and that, and it's basically to me what it means is you are you are not you are depending on yourself. And when I when I started doing that, yeah, in the beginning I was still getting totally blessed and seeing a lot of things, but there were but that's when the doors opened to let more negative in let more negative in it wasn't me it was just like it opened up a a, 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 a a gateway almost and it let like more satanic demonic forces try to come up against me and uh i realized i soon realized that i always did better with jesus i always did better with jesus jesus was there 
way before my short little stint with that. And yeah, I'm glad I, I got to see that. God showed me that. That he is the way. Jesus is the way. So anyway, I thought I would just pop on with my day and yeah, I'm going to try to work out a little bit and yeah, do some simple stretching and yeah, I will see you soon guys. Take care. Peace out. Much love. I'm back with a quick little, uh, okay, something that I thought was cute and worth mentioning. Um, so yeah. Says, um, this is actually in November. When that miracle happened, the clouds parted and the angels sang. <laughs> but this is uh, in February, I just wrote. And it's, I hope this will bless you guys. It's a great, it's a great, 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 great. When it came to me, it was great. It was a great uh, feeling for me. And your biggest blessings are wrapped up in the midst of your tragedies, tribulations, and struggles. Just believe. He makes sure we receive. So, yeah. I thought I'd just add that. Can I take anything with this? I really want you to um, have that in your life. But if I can plant a little seed, you know, who knows? It might just take root. <laughs>
perfect aura. So that's the first first way for styling. And stay tuned for the next way. Okay, so we're back now, and we are here with the other oh, style. Yeah, from the other way, I'm styling this cute little retro. Like a 60s style. Look, see how. So, basically, I have just changed my blouse. Put this little black short sleeves blouse on and changed my clothes and my shoes. These are like the double strap Mary Janes with these gray. Tides, whatever you call them. <laughs> so let's see. Okay. I love short sleeves and I never ever get to wear them. I have to keep my arms covered, guys. But uh, when I'm out, but yeah. Very casual. And all it really needs is some accessories. Accessories would make the look. Accessories. Good to go. Got this here. This little cute vintage purse. And like with it, it's got all these sparkles and the little beaded strap. if we could dress it up a little bit by changing out these beautiful, adorable, some of my favorite shoes, balls with these. So let me just slip on into these real quick and see how, how we like that look with it. These shoes are always like my faves. <laughs> just the perfect height. I like them. A little more classy, actually, a little more stylish than the cute little Mary Jane. So, we are, we're ready to go to the Parisian Cafe and have a mocha latte or a chai tea. <laughs> a chai tea with me in the Parisian cafe. <laughs> it's just fun to play sometimes, you know. It's good for the soul and yeah. So, I have one more switch up to do with this cute little vintage dress. And yeah, so stay right, stay right here, guys, and I shall be right back. See ya. Okay, so as you can see, I think this top is really going to look cute with it. Not even got them all the way buttoned, but look at the long. It's got the long cuffs and then it has the tie. So yeah, that's gonna really give it the flip. But well, I'll be right back. So here we are back with this tie. This there's the button. Let's see. Let's see. Button. Oh, I guess not. It's supposed to be. Anyway, I think it's just do it. 
It's amazing, and I hope you enjoyed the, the looks, and it's so simple, so easy to change these looks up, as you, as you can see, you know, just by changing your shoes, your hose, your blouse, and stuff, so anyway, see you soon, guys, take care, and yeah, stay creative, and take time to always play, and uh, do what brings you joy make time for that you know that there's nothing at all wrong with that that's actually very important so yeah see you soon